Okay, now we're going to design a ring that fits over the top of this rocket from here to here is two inches, so we'll keep that in mind. File, new part. We're going to start a sketch, and this time let's choose the, uh, well, now let's go ahead and choose the XY plane just for the sake of our vertical and horizontal constraints. Circle tool. Go to the origin, hit the green dot, click once, drag, click again, turn on your dimension tool. This needs to be bigger than two inches because the, the part that slides over the rocket is two inches. So I'm gonna just say 2.5 for the sake of demonstration. Click on the word front. And now I'm going to, uh, use my line tool to draw a cross. I don't know what happened, so I hit escape, turn the line tool back on. Okay. You can test your constraints by grabbing a corner and moving it. Obviously, things are not lined up, so I'll turn on my horizontal constraint tool, and I'll constrain this corner to this corner. Hit Escape. Now, if I try to drag one of those corners, all four move together, so that's good. Let's test the bottom. Those four are already constrained. Let's drag this corner left and right. Looks like Inventor already lined them up. So it just so happens that when I drew it, I drew them lined up. So I don't have to put those constraints on, they're already there. Now I need a dimension. Uh, I'm gonna dimension from the center to this line right here. And I want that distance to be 1 16th of an inch. Because when I dimension from the center to the other side, those two dimensions together should add up to one eighth. So one sixteenth plus one sixteenth equals two sixteenths. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to do this line to the center. One sixteenth. This line to the center. 1 16th and now my, the thickness of my slots are good but the width of the slot needs to be two inches total so I'll put one inch on this side and one inch on this side one inch from the top to the center and, whoops, escape, if you mess up, hit escape. Dimension tool back on from the center to the bottom. One inch. It's in your sketch. If you want to extrude it to look at it. There you go. And now, this part should slide over the top of my rocket. So just to, just to double check, if I made a mistake, I can open up the extrusion, right click on sketch one, edit sketch. Um, but the real important part is, well, there's two important parts. Oh, I did mess up. Notice that's one inch dimension. So that corner should be to the center. So I'm gonna right click, delete it. Turn my dimension tool back on and go from the corner to the center. That should be one inch. And if I drag this other, by the way, I keep hitting escape to turn off my dimension tool. Right, those dimensions together should have, add up to one inch. And this dimension plus this dimension also should add up to, I should, sorry, it should add up to two inches. 
And then the 0 0.063 and 0 0.063, that's 1 16th plus 1 16th, which equals 1 8th. So the thickness of the slot is an eighth of an inch in both directions. You zoom in, you can see that a little bit better. There you go. If I were to dimension from this corner to this corner, it should give me 0.125, and it does. So that's good. All right, I think now it's done. Finish sketch. And that's it.